Hello, class. Uh, one more recorded lecture for chapter four here, linear regression analysis. I forgot to go over a very important concept, the idea of interpreting the slope and y-intercept of the particular equation. So this gives us a chance just to review the prediction part again as well. So this was the original uh, prediction calculation that we talked about before. And so what I'd like to do is let's pull up the whiteboard here and make sure that we talk about this in a little more detail. So our equation again is y hat equals 160, and I'm going to round, say, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.00992x. And so, uh, again, we had the x value of 300 square feet, right? And that's within our data range, as we talked about in the last uh, recorded lecture. And so when you plug that into the equation, you get 992 times 3,000, and you get out your calculator and do a little calculation, and hopefully the book is right because I didn't do it, but you would get 457.8, which would imply uh, 450,000, $457,800 selling price. And so, how do we interpret our slope? And how do we interpret the y-intercept? And that's important. Uh, and it's really important uh, for any uh, model that you have that's a linear equation. So those are our two values. So uh, going back to the slide, because it has a nice uh, explanation right here I want to show you. is that the intercept and um, uh, line crosses the y-axis, that's the y-intercept, and then the slope. Now remember, we have this value of positive and negative. And so in this case, we have a positive slope. And so uh, what it says here, which I am not, uh, and that's why I wanted to bring this up as well, it says that if the data contains both positive and negative values of x, then the y-intercept is an estimated outcome. And that is true when the values uh, explanatory variable were x equals 0. So if you look at our, our data set, right, we don't have anything close to 0, right? Remember, we changed the scaling so we could see the data points a little bit more. And so if you think about it, if you take this all the way down, it's going to pass at $160,000. And that would be for zero uh, uh, square footage. That means there's no house. But if you think about it in a practical sense, sometimes I disagree with the statisticians. If we took some more data, it would be better. But you could sometimes think about this y-intercept being maybe the property value of where these houses are being located, right? And so it would be uh, a good way to think about that. That's how much the property would cost if you bought it. We don't know that for sure. Uh, so I'm not saying that their interpretation is wrong. But what I am saying is that sometimes you could uh, real world evaluate some of these. But they're definitely right that the more data we have, the better off you are. And so if you had data both positive and negative, where you would have uh, x equals 0 as well, it would give you a better interpretation of it. Um, we do some, uh, if you're going into accounting, you do some uh, dep depreciation analysis, which typically is linear. And the y-intercept in the depreciation analysis is actually scrap value of whatever you're depreciating. So for example, uh, a lot of the times you could buy an automobile or a truck and after five years, it would be worth just the scrap value, which would be the y-intercept of that particular linear depreciation. What's more important, I think, is this idea of how the slope is interpreted. And the idea of slope is a change of y over the change of x. 
And so with regards to the example they give you is that if you're taking a look at the slope and you want to say, well, what happens if I add a certain amount of square footage to my house? What, how would that change the selling price? And that's the way to think about what the slope is. So if we go back to the whiteboard and we have a slope of 0.0992, right? And again, if we say, okay, I'm gonna put on an addition to my home that is 300 square feet. So if I do that, and then I say to myself, given the data that I have, how much more would I be able to sell my home if it's 300 square foot bigger? And that's where the slope comes in. So you would take 0.0992, and multiply it by 300. And if you do that, I get my calculator out. 300 times, that would be 29.76. And remember that's in thousands of dollars. So that would mean that you could get $29,760 more of a selling price, more, right? It's an increase. And that's what we mean by positive flow. Obviously, if it was negative, then you would lose that money, which obviously would not be a good thing. So that's a, a good review and um, a good explanation, hopefully, of the interpretation of a slope and y-intercept and, and uh, linear regression analysis.